As you walk downtown on the strip of Bloomington, you may be completely oblivious to an independent bookstore and meeting place called Boxcar Books, which is just around the corner. What separates Boxcar from the other bookstores is kind of like um, that we have a mission statement, you know, that we, have, that we are a nonprofit, uh, that we're volunteer powered, and that we have a mission statement surrounded with goals of social justice, uh, education, and uh, more progressive or radical thinking. Um, it's interesting that Boxcar is in kind of like a league of its own among bookstores nationwide. Uh, there are very few bookstores like this and community spaces like this still in existence. Uh, so it, it, on one hand, it's, it's tough to be a community space like that in a bookstore. On the other hand, it's kind of uh, out of the ordinary or um, special. So. I wouldn't say Boxcar is like many other bookstores out there. Uh, there's a few other things. Boxcar Books is a local, volunteer-run, nonprofit organization that exists to provide new and used books, magazines, comics, independent media, and fiction for the community. Um, well, Boxcar is decidedly different from other bookstores, including independents, in that we're a nonprofit. At the end of the day, we want to make enough money to cover our costs, pay our rent, continue to buy other books, but we aren't profit driven. Therefore, we can afford to buy books that might sit on the shelf for a few years. We don't feel like we have to push things and move stuff off the shelves constantly. There isn't that need to have a constant turnover of titles. Yeah, uh, the store is definitely like a cohesion of the consumer and the, you know, other people like candy. You know. But it, it it's definitely like a mixture of both of them. It relies a lot on people to come in and buy or, you know, spread the word, tell people about it, and volunteer, so, you know, since they only have one paid employee. But, like, it involves them a lot, but it also involves the employees a lot because they have to do, like, lots of promotion. And they have lots of signs and things they make and local events that they keep people informed about. So it's like they both kind of give to each other, and then that just kind of, you know, makes it work. So why come to Boxcar? I think there is a special lure about Boxcar Books because it's really friendly and people are willing to help you like find a book that you need and everything's pretty cheap, so it's good. Where I went to university, uh, we didn't really have like a, an info shop or a radical bookstore to go to uh, for resources or events or things like that. So every time coming to Bloomington, it seemed like a uh, spot, like a, a place to, to come uh, when people visit it, and it's kind of rang true ever since, ever since working here, like people come to Bloomington and, and kind of come to Boxcar as a, uh, as, a, as a place to hang out. I think that customers do see something different about Boxcar from other bookstores. I know that before I volunteered here, I saw Boxcar as the place where I'd go if I was looking for something different, something that I couldn't find any place else. Uh, I've been here a couple times, and I've got, I don't really have anything going on, so I, I came in here today to uh, see about maybe volunteering here and just, you know, filling my free time because uh, I like this place. It's got. It's got a good mission, I guess. I've been able to find some books um, here. I just would, would randomly look at the sale books that are all used, and I was able to find some really interesting books that I wanted to read, so that's, that's pretty much it. If you go to a big bookstore, or a big large chain bookstores, it seems like less personal. With Boxcar, the, the way we compete with big bookstores is trying to be more personal. Uh, of like a better connection with our customers. Boxcar Books also sends literature of all types free of charge to prisoners in the Midwest and provides a meeting space for community and literary groups. I actually got a phone call last year here, um, not, it came to Boxcar, not to Pages, from a woman who had been incarcerated who said that like the books and the, the brief little personal notes that she received from Pages made her feel connected to the outside world and made her feel like someone cared about her in a way that she hadn't in a long time. That was sort of jaw-dropping. So when you're out walking around town, remember that little independent bookstore, Boxcar Books.